welcome back to The Backpack. Today we are going to be dyeing our hair with Kool-Aid. So first step is to boil some water. My mom is gonna help us with the stove to be safe. Now we're gonna pick a cup of our choice and our Kool-Aid color. If you have light hair, do one in each cup, but if you have dark hair, you're gonna do one in each cup plus another half and half. And we're also going to be putting Vaseline around our necks just in case it splashes on, it won't dye our neck. First, we're going to pour the Kool-Aid packets into the cups. Then we're going to pour the hot water into the Kool-Aid packets and mix it up. Now, our mom's going to come in and pour the Kool-Aid into our cups. So my mom just poured the water into mine and now I have to stir until it's dissolved. I'm putting a towel on my neck so it doesn't get on me and I'm starting the timer. This method helps a lot with both their necks not being in pain, but also it was hard to figure out how to have them hold it and not get too high up. You can see here we got some blue here. So if you have them lay on this folded up towel, they can relax a little more and then position the cup to where it's right at the ponytail line. And then they don't have to keep trying to check and guess and adjust. Everybody doing good? Yeah. Whoa. Everybody's gone a little over 20 minutes. Oh and we could stop, they're just feeling like going ahead and waiting longer while they're at it now that they're comfortable. The red dye needs to be longer anyway. So they're just all going to go longer and we'll see how it looks. Now we are making the paste. You need two tablespoons of conditioner with two packets of Kool-Aid in each thing and some vinegar. Apple cider vinegar works too, but normal vinegar works just fine. Now we're going to be adding the vinegar. Now using the paste, we're going to paste it on to our hair, wrap it in aluminum foil, and wait a day. doing the paste. He didn't decide to do the other thing. Yeah, well we couldn't really dip his hair in boiling water. Yeah. So we're going to experiment with the paste. Here, Asher, do you want to see what it looks like? You can just go in the mirror. So now we have our hair dyed and pasted, including Asher, which was a surprise. Now we're no professionals, so this isn't gonna look perfect, but we will come back when it's out, which will be tomorrow, but a few seconds for you. Here we go, three, two, one. So here's the final result of how our hair looked. I really like them. Mine is like a deep blue. Asher's isn't, his is more green because he didn't do the boiling water. So that shows that just the paste makes it look a little more green. And if you do the boiled water and the paste, it turns out more of a deep blue. And instead of waiting a whole 24 hours like we were going to, 
We took them out three hours after, and they actually turned out really good. I don't think you need to wait 24 hours, because how are you gonna sleep on that? And it would just be really hard. And none of it came out in the shower for me. So it really worked, and I do recommend it. Here are some pictures of right after we washed and dried our hair. tutorial was helpful for you if you are dyeing your hair with Kool-Aid. Make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> and turn on your post notifications. We'll see you next time on The, the Backpack. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh. Huh. Yeah. Say bye, Asher. Say bye.